Hello this is too, and today I want to let's play FTL or Faster Than Light Yeah, I finally did it right <laughs> So I did not play this game at all because as you can see in no a previous same game exists I did play a tutorial and um, yeah let's start with the tutorial for the let's play Welcome to FTL, you are the captain of Federation Starship on a very important mission. Continue. Federation is currently being torn apart by vicious rebels. Your ship is carrying data about the defense of the Federation. Continue. You will be traveling through dangerous sectors of the galaxy with the rebel fleet in hot pursuit. Make it to the exit beacon and of each sector before the rebels can catch you. Your ship is caster to focus on typical game you several icons on the bottom of the screen are your ship primary systems. This system is powered from the reactor, pointed at by the arrow. Alright. Primary systems are there. These are your ship subsystems. Unlock system they do not require power from the reactor. Oh, that's cool. However, you must over any system icon to get more information about system. Each system corresponds from from room we're lighting up. All right. The whole meter shear level and current resources are, are on the ship left. And your hull meter is reduced to zero, your ship will explode. Well, that's not good. Let's avoid that part. And yeah, I'm going to read this all. Perhaps for a little change. We should get going, but it looks like your engine are currently powered down. Green system boxes are powered, white system boxes are unpowered, and providing no benefit to the Castro. Left click on the engine system and will retry from you from your reactor into your in engines. Try to keep your vital system fully powered, right click to depower a system if you want to reroute its power. Alright. Engines are on. Left click on the engine system icon to power the transfer from your reactor into your engines. Try to keep your vital systems fully powered, right click to depower of a system if you want to reroute its power. Alright, I press us again. Continue. Oh no, your engines are took too damage. It, it system you work on has become red as is it's broken. Your whole meter is also taken to damage. Well, oh, shit. Your crew cannot repair the ship's core, but they can fix the engines. Select your crew members using a left click. Select multiple crew by left clicking and dragging. Select some crew. Alright, let's get these two fellas. People look areas. Go and fix that. With crew, select a right click on the room to send there, tracing your crewmates to enter the room. Crewmates will automatically repair the system, fight fires, pick bridges, and fight intruders in the room. Fighting the clocks, and a fire wheel for the crew. Alright. Awesome, your engines are now repaired. Not only that repair systems will automatically try to repower the same to their last power state. Now that's good. Some systems can be manned by crew members to provide a small bonus to the system. Crew members will automatically man any functional system in their room. The Silhouse Sil How the fuck they spell that? The that thing about the power bars so system is manned. 
All right. Oh no! A fire has been broken out in the starboard airlock. You could send your crew members to put out, but there's an advantage to your airlock. Open your airlock doors by left clicking them. Yeeha! Open those with a majority section of your ship of oxygen and put out fires. Room to pink and access the radar. Your access is never available. It's so very feeling what seems Prove your ship once leaks are the gone. Oh, alright. Now that your engines are fixed and there's a fire out, we should have to jump to the next location. Jump here across a crew member in the piloting system. Each jump is one fuel. Without the fuel you you will be stranded and unable to jump. Click on jump to continue. Right, that will suck if I lose fuel. I don't refill. This is a big amount. A ship marks your current location. Hover your mouse or location to get information about it. Left click on, on connecting node to travel there. Get with the so which one is a mother? All right, let's go get here then. Every new location we have an event like this. You might have multiple choice available to you in event. If this is example, a big parachute is trying to destroy you. Continue. Special approaches like this are allowed where having certain upgrades are occupied. They are nearly always a good choice. Welcome to combat. You can use base bar or middle mouse to pause your game at any time. That's cool. And to start the judge, you give a command to really quite your crew. Power. Try to pause your game now. Oh shit, I thought that was automatic already. You need to power your systems to fight the amount of power across the picture in the bo box marked below. Left click on the power it a uh, power weapon turned white, right click on the power weapon. Left click on the power weapon store army of target room in the enemy ship below. Clicking on it, we can use the focus phone to access to one to four access to your weapons. We press V5 when ready. Make sure game is unpaused with spacebar or middle mouse. Okay. Now let's hit the weapon systems. So wait. Okay, guys. Here, oh shit, you're not doing anything, Stelly. So you should be here. What the hell does that thing does? Oh no, your two shot ledger can not match the pirate's level two shields, but luckily he can get through your shield either. Not every two power bars in the your shield system that you yet one more shield. Okay. You begin missiles launch now. Shooting in spikes your missile reserves, but missiles are pierced through enemy shields. There is a missile damage to enemy shield to system that you can laser go through the, as well. Okay. Do you notice the 
that the damage of the sword icons are to orange or red respectively. Repeatedly attacking that destroyed system will do no additional damage to the system, but will still damage the enemy's hull. Reduce their hull to zero and they will, will explode. Destroyed. Yeehaw! You start the power ship. I salvage you again. Scrap and weapons. Scrap 100. Weapon. Be Halberd beam. Weapons or drones are added to your ship cargo if there is no more room to in their respective system. Left click on the ship screen. Info screen so we can equip your new weapons. This is your equipment screen. You can see more detailed information about your weapons, drones, or augmentations by watching over them. Click and drag your new helper beam to replace other current weapons. Then hit accept. Lasers. How's the alright accept this? Whoops, your weapon system max power two is not upgraded enough to support your new weapon. Power free requirement. Open up your ship skip box to so we can fix this. This is an upgrade screen, so you can see detailed info about your system and upgrade then by spending scrap. You can also cover your reactor at your bottom menu, which is important for keeping everything fully powered. Continue. Right click on your weapon system to upgrade it. Left click accept your upgrade. Accept. Now your power and power your new weapon. You might need to power down your other weapons in order to have enough power. power. Alright, final tip you can rearrange your weapons system toolbar by clicking on dragging. If your weapon system is damaged, this or this will determine it, the order they are depowered. Right click to left. That's it for the basic. Good luck got out there. Co press continue to exit tutorial. Wow. Oh god, that hurts my mouth and tongue to <laughs> speak that much. Wow. Whew. I know if you you're several over the tutorial to be spoken. Here's me. Okay, I'm not really quite English, but hopefully you can understand me well. <laughs> oh, shit. Whew.